Hi everybody, in the last class we discussed the equation of state of ideal Bose gas at high temperature that is when temperature tends to infinity and we got an equation which is PV by NKT, NKT equal to sigma L equal to 1 to infinity AL lambda cube uh, over V to the power L minus 1 and this is as I said in the last class this is the virial expansion and the coefficients are referred to as virial coefficients and its value uh, can be calculated by some methods. So once we have that equation with this we can calculate or we can have an expression for the specific heat capacity at a constant volume. Specific heat capacity at constant volume that is Cv equal to dou u by dou t which is 3 by 2 dou by dou t of Pv. Okay. So, uh, Cv by Nk will be 3 by 2 dou by dou t of Pv, Pv by Nk. So, Cv by Nk is 3 by 2 dou by dou t of Pv by Nk where uh, the number of particles and volume is constant or the uh, in terms of specific volume we can say small v is a constant. So, uh, we know Pv by Nkt is this sigma L equal to 1 to infinity L lambda cube by V to the power L minus. So, that we substitute here. So, Pv by Nk Pv by Nk will be what? Pv by Nk will be T times this. So, uh, as we substitute it here, we will get uh, 3 by 2 dou by dou t of t sigma l equal to 1 to infinity l lambda cube by v to the power l minus. So, uh, we have to differentiate it with respect to temperature and here we have to apply a product rule because we have t here and t in this lambda cube remember lambda is h over root 2 pi mkt the thermal wave line so temperature is present in lambda so we have to apply the product rule and as we uh, differentiate we will get this expression 3 by 2 sigma l minus sigma summation over l phi minus 3 l by 2 al lambda q by v to the power l minus and we know the value of al that we know a1, a2, a3, a4, a5 all these are known to us. So, uh, as we compute this that is we put value of L uh, here L equal to 1, L equal to 2, L equal to 3 we get these steps. So, Cv by Nk is 3 by 2 of this expression this expression which is a series in terms of lambda q by v. Now, as t tends to infinity, we are considering the case t tends to infinity. As t tends to infinity, lambda tends to 0 because we know lambda uh, has temperature in the denominator. So, that becomes 0. So, what happens is the Cv by Nk, Cv by Nk as lambda tends to 0, these terms will get cancelled, will become 0. So, we will get Cv by Nk as 3 by 2. And what happens to Pv? Pv now, this is the series for Pv by Nkt as t tends to infinity, lambda tends to 0, so these terms will be 0, a1 is 1, so you will get Pv equal to Nkt. So we get Pv equal to Nkt, Cv equal to 3 by 2 Nk. So uh, the uh, these are the equations for an ideal gas. So, at high, uh, high temperature as t tends to infinity, ideal Bose gas behaves like a, a classical ideal gas. Okay, ideal Bose gas behaves like a classical ideal gas, Pv equal to Nkt and Cv equal to 3 by 2 Nkt. Okay, and U also will be, U will be equal to, the energy will be equal to 3 by 2 Nkt. Okay, we have calculated U. 
and u will be 3 by 10 kts uh, lambda tends to uh, 0 okay t tends to infinity or lambda tends to 0 now let's see the low temperature situation in the low temperature uh, we know the temperature of the system uh, decreases and what happens to the lambda q by v lambda as i told uh, it has a temperature in the denominator so it uh, increases as temperature decreases lambda q by v increases okay so our equation n minus n0 by v equal to g3 by dou set lambda q this is our original equation in the high temperature limit we had neglected n0 the number of particles in the ground state epsilon equal to 0 because the number will be very very small but here uh, we are considering this n0 so n minus n0 over v and n minus n0 uh, is the number of particles in the excited states capital n is the total number of particles n0 is the number of particles in the ground state so n minus n0 is the number of particles in the excited states okay so uh, uh, epsilon not equal to 0 and we know uh, the for a Bose uh, gas set varies in between 0 and 1 okay and for low temperature the set uh, approaches 1 okay for low temperature set is e to the power mu t as uh, t uh, is very small close to 0 we know set is set becomes 1 and as uh, set varies the minimum possible value set is 0 maximum is 1 as set varies from 0 to 1 as shown here g3 by 2 of set g3 by 2 set we can plot g3 by 2 set g3 by 2 set actually uh, varies like this g3 by 2 of set varies and uh, set equal to 1 is a maximum value 1 is a maximum value and for that g3 by 2 set is 2.612 so one can write this relation g3 by 2 set is always less than or equal to 2.612 okay because the maximum value set can take is 1 and uh, um, for set equal to 1 the value g3 by 2 set is 2.612 so g of 3 by 2 set is always less than or equal to 2.612 for the Bose gas okay okay so uh, from this equation here we have the g3 by 2 set g3 by 2 set g3 by 2 set is always less than or equal to 2.612 so when we substitute that here we get this expression ne the number of particles in the excited state is less than or equal to this expression here for g of 3 by 2 said i have written this 2.612 so this equality becomes less than or equal to so the number of particles in the excited states okay at a given temperature at a given volume is less than or equal to this 2.612 now as long as the actual number of particles in the system actual number of particles the system is less than this value suppose it is less than this value then all the particles in the system will be in the excited states okay if the total number of particles are less than this value less than this value uh, then all the particles will be in the excited states but if the actual number of particles exceeds to the total number of particles in the system exceeds this limiting value okay then the excited states will receive or it will hold as many as uh, it can hold that is uh, v uh, 2 pi m kt to the power 3 by h cube 2.612 so this many particles will be there in the excited states 
Now what happens to the remaining particles? The rest of them will be pushed into the ground state. Okay, the rest of them will be pushed into the ground state. So we get the n0, the number of particles in the ground state as equal to n, n is the total number of particles and this is ne, the number of particles in the excited states. Okay, so n0, the number of particles in the ground state will be total number of particles in the system minus the total number of particles in the excited state. So this phenomenon of macroscopically large number of particles accumulating in a single state is referred to as Bose-Einstein the condensation. So once again we are uh, defining Bose-Einstein condensation. Uh, basic idea is same, large number of particles crowding, accumulating in the uh, state, the quantum state, in the ground state, epsilon equal to zero. So that is referred to as the Bose-Einstein condensation. Okay. So, uh, in this, in a certain sense, this phenomenon is similar to the familiar process of vapor condensing into the liquid. We have seen vapor, vapor of some uh, substance, if it is cooled, it will be converted into liquid state. Okay, and the Bose-Einstein condensation that we see here uh, is in certain way similar to this. But the two processes are different, very different in two aspects. Two aspects. One is the Bose-Einstein condensation is purely of quantum origin. Okay, purely is because of the uh, quantum properties exhibited by the particle occurring even in the absence of intermolecular forces. Condensation of vapor into liquid requires uh, the presence of intermolecular force. So even in the absence of intermolecular force, the Bose-Einstein condensation will take place. But vapor will condense into liquid only if intermolecular force is present. Okay, so uh, in this way, Bose-Einstein condensation is different from uh, the vapor condensing into liquid. Another thing is, it takes place in the momentum space. This condensation takes place in the momentum space and not in the coordinate space. Okay, this condensation takes place in the momentum space and not in the coordinate space.